So welcome back, uh, part three of my uh, Nintendo Switch collection. Um, yeah, let's crack on. And we start with uh, Biohazard Origins collection. Uh, that is with uh, zero and uh, four. No, that is with zero and one. I mean, what the fuck? So I bought this from Japan, uh, and my friend Anthony helped me out. Uh, Soft Otaku, and uh, yeah, it wasn't a good it wasn't a good idea for me to buy that. This really, uh, I it was super expensive, and it, it came with like a, a case for the Switch in metal, really nice one. But with everything and the shipping, oh my god, that was a stupid idea of me. Uh, I sold the case now to try to get some money back. Yeah, I haven't opened this yet. I play them both. So, yeah. Biohazard Origins Collection. Um, yep. And this one I played a long time ago. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Decided I wanted to get it. L.A. Noir. It is a good game. Uh, it's not very often you see uh, rock uh, Rockstar games in my collection. But, yeah. I kind of like this one, I did. Uh, maybe I will not hold on to that one in the future, who knows. And this is, because this is the Japanese version of it, I think it's called like Gun Vault. Uh, there's a second one out now, it's not as good as this one, uh, so I heard, so I didn't get that one. Uh, Striker, Gun Vault Striker or something it's called. It's, uh, yeah, 2D action platformer uh, in the veins maybe of Mega Man kind of and then we got a fantastic um, uh, game that's been out on many different platforms over the years I think the original came on the DS and that is Cave Story I don't know what to hold it to get the perfect picture of it um, it's kind of glaring everywhere I stand maybe there yeah that, that was probably the best so this is Cave Story Plus, fantastic uh, adventure game, puzzle, platformer, even got the soundtrack in there on the mini disc and, uh, and manual because it's from Nicalis. So uh, you always get the extra good stuff when you buy from them. Uh, yeah, Cave Story. Then we got a really good um, uh, shmup. Sh Shooter, and uh, that is the extended edition of Aces of Luftwaffe Squadron. Uh, yeah, good shooter. And then what? We got a game that I think many of you retro heads uh, gon is gonna like and love, <laughs> and that is uh, Battle Princess Madeline. And this is uh, Ghosts and Ghosts, uh, Ghosts and Goblins kind of game. Uh, more ghosts and ghosts because it's 16 bit and it's yeah really cool uh, uh, graphics and uh, when you see the game you're gonna be like whoa this is looks looks like a predecessor to ghosts and goblins and uh, ghosts and ghosts uh, and it definitely does it's a fantastic game I got this long time ago uh, early on in the collection and this is the Asian version as well, because it came out there before. Uh, oh, then we got Unravel 2. Uh, actually, Swedish made game. Uh, I think it's. I don't know if it's the Dice people that made it. Uh, I can't remember. I would really like to get Unravel 1 as well, but I don't think that it's out on the Switch in physical form. Very cool puzzle platform this one. Very different and uh, fantastic. Um, looks really nice as well. Very cute. Then we got a game from Super Rare Games. Uh, I've not kept many from them to be honest. Uh, but there are a few that I kept. Uh, I traded a few. And uh, those games I traded for they are up. In the cupboard there because there are many, maybe like 10, 15 Switch games in there, big ones that I'm gonna sell. I'm not gonna keep in the collection, but selling them right now would be stupid because nobody really wanna take a 
you know, uh, they would they want to they don't <laughs> can't talk. They don't want to dish out a lot of money as the things are right now. You know, nothing is certain, and uh, will we even have our jobs in the future? Or what you know, what's going on? So you know, are they trying to you know, don't do any purchases that we buy them in the ass in the future. So this is Adventure Pass Collector's Edition. Very different kind of uh, uh, look to this game. Very like cartoonish and uh, almost like very childish kind of cartoonish uh, platformer. Uh, very cool though. You play as a guy with a giraffe friend and uh, yeah they can do things together to uh, travel on, on the in the game. And another uh, shooter, this is the 8-bit uh, kind of shooter, and this is also from Super Rare Games, and that is Steriden uh, Binary Stars. That's another game I, I kept from uh, my Super Rare collection, uh, that I definitely wanted to keep. And like all uh, Super Rare, it came with the uh, collection cards and manual sticker and all that, everything is in there. And this was a trade actually uh, with a Swedish YouTuber and uh, I'm not going to tell you which channel it is because it's in Swedish and most people that watch my channel uh, it's not Swedish so but we exchanged for this one Puyo Puyo and uh, Tetris like both of those games and it's getting a little Hard to know where I to put the games, and uh, yeah, this has been out on several systems as well. This was out on the Wii U, uh, physical form only in the US, I think. But yeah, it's a great game. Guyana Sisters Twisted Dream Owl Ultimate Edition. I used to love playing Guyana Sisters on my Commodore 64 back in the days. Wonderful game. Uh, another fun uh, cartoonish uh, platformer. Uh, with a manual and some extra nice stuff in there. That is Caveman Warriors. Uh, don't know much more about that game, but what I heard it's good, so that's why I bought it. And then we got, uh, of course, I had to buy Crash Bandicoot uh, in Insane Tril Trilogy. I only played like one or two of the Crash Bandicoot games. For the PS1 uh, back in the days, uh, I remember I liked it though, but I never really got the other ones. I don't know why. So when this came up uh, only in the US and it was some some store in the US, it was exclusive to that store. So I contact my friend um, Cooper, uh, which has has the, my favorite YouTube channel, Sick Cooper. If he could help me out, and he did. So he bought the uh, Crash Bandicoot Trilogy big box for me. They also get the uh, Crash Bandicoot uh, uh, theme controller in the game. So thank you, Sick Cooper. If you haven't watched Sick, Co Sick Cooper, it's S I C C O O P E R. Sick Cooper. He he owns um, a video game store. I watched him. For the first time, maybe nine years ago, but nowadays he, ha he owns a video store with his with his girlfriend Abby, and uh, he puts out videos every day, every day vlogs, and uh, it's either him in the store uh, fixing things in the store. Now the store is closed due to what we are going through, and uh, and then he goes to like secondhand shops, uh, charity shops, and he's really good at that, like buying and selling. And he also collects, and he has a massive, massive collection that is insane. And yeah, I love his channel, my favorite channel. So thank you, Cooper, uh, for this. I don't think you watch my channel, but if you do, thank you again. Absolutely amazing of you to help me with that. Oh, another Shante game. Um, I already showed you one of them, and this is Shanti and the Half G uh, Game uh, Genie Hero, the Ultimate Edition. Uh, of course, I had to have this one as well. Shanti is like one of the best platformers ever. <laughs> uh, 
best ever. That's the words I'm using the most in probably my vids uh, about my Switch collection. Karinchi. Uh, yeah, Super Mario Party. Haven't played it with my friends yet because I don't have any friends. No, I'm joking, but I haven't, I haven't got around to it. Uh, definitely want to try it out if it's back to form again with uh, with the party games because they've been pretty shitty uh, since at least GameCube era. Uh, and this is the the controller inside. I mean, you get the Joy Cons. One is pink and one is like green. And uh, yeah, this is that pack. And they, they didn't put out many of these, not at least in Sweden. So they they uh, sold out really quick. So I was happy to get that. Uh, if I want to sell it, I can probably make uh, some money from this one, to be honest. And then we got. Uh, I I don't know if I mentioned yet any Play Asia exclusives, but Play Asia started dishing out um, exclusives for the Switch as well. I mean, they've done that for the PS4 for quite some time, uh, and yeah, the 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 boxes and everything, the presentation is wonderful. So, if there is a really game I really want, uh, of course I'm going to buy from Play Asia, uh, and this is. Reverie, uh, sweet ass edition, and I think is this one kind of stands out. The the letters here really nice, and uh, yeah, this is probably the one Play Asia one that sold out the fastest. Uh, it was it, it went like this quick. Uh, most of them stayed on for weeks and weeks, but this one was sold out, sold out really quick. And this is definitely homage to. Uh, Zelda 2D Zelda's top-down view uh, games like Link to the Past. It's <laughs> it has stolen a lot of ideas from that. Uh, but yeah, if it's doing it good, you know, for a Zelda fan, I'm fine by that. Uh, then we got another 2D uh, platformer adventure game, and uh, this one is from yeah Limited Run. This is the collector's edition of Momodora Reverie Under the Moonlight. Wonderful box art, that one. Really cool game. Yeah, and uh, 2D Rob talked a lot about these games, and I haven't uh, played them yet, so what he said made me want to play them a lot. And uh, that is uh, also from PlayAsia, uh, an exclusive for, for the Switch. And uh, in physical form, and that is Ghost uh, 1.0 and an epic collection. And uh, yeah, it's you know, uh, Ghost is a Metroidvania that seems to be really cool and um, ep an epic, like a 2D adventure game uh, with puzzles. So I'm definitely looking forward to playing these as uh, Rob gave it so much love in this video. And uh, this is the first ukulele, and it's from uh, Limited Run Games in this kind of Nintendo 64 kind of box, uh, an homage to the to uh, the likes of um, uh, whoa, oh my God, I forgot what are they called. No, I can't forget. What are they called? <laughs> two, two T no, two D no. What the hell? What are those games called? That is, this is, those rare games. Banyu Kasui in Banyu Tui. My God, it's kind of a love letter to that. Uh, I think there were people, uh, you know, making this one that actually worked on the original games. Uh, this is the 3D platformer, and it's um, not everybody loves it, but yeah, I, I kind of like it. But yeah, sometimes the camera angles doesn't really work good uh, but yeah it's a cool game I definitely prefer the 2D ukulele uh, the second one whatever you want to call it that is I don't know if I showed you yet that I have that one uh, but that is uh, 9.5 out of 10 I will probably come up to that game pretty soon in the next video so that's ukulele in this awesome cool box and the last one uh, for this video my god, this is heavy. Why is this so heavy? 
this is another Play Asia exclusive, and this is a very cool, like, shoot 'em up kind of game. But it's very different than a lot of other shoot 'em ups because it's kind of you have two different sides that you jump between. Uh, and you, 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 if you can't really go further in the right one, you jump over to the to the left one. Uh, something, something like that, anyway. And that is Dimension Drive, and this is the collector's edition. So I'm super happy to get that as well. I don't remember why it's so heavy though. Um, if it's a steel book in there, I have to take that out because I want that in the shelf on the shelf. So that is it guys for part 3, see you in part 4, be nice and stay safe.